Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and in today's beginner's Photoshop tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use text in Photoshop. So I'm going to be showing you all about using the text tool, how to create text, how to modify it and how to apply some really cool effects to it. So here's just a little thing here, I'm just going to delete this and then I'm going to start new and show you how to create text from beginning to end. So firstly you just want to make sure that you've got this little text window open. So if you go into the window menu up the top and make sure that you can see that it's open with the character thing. So if you go window and make sure the character is ticked and you should have this window up because that's important. So the next thing you want to do is just have any sort of document open, it doesn't really matter. And then come into the text tool on the left. Now there are different modes of the text tool. You can do horizontal type, vertical type, horizontal mask or vertical mask. Now I'm not going to go too much into the masks but I'll explain them a bit more later. So firstly we want to just try out the horizontal type tool. So then we get this little icon here which will allow us to click somewhere and create a text box. Here we've just got this here, uh, we've got a few other simple options here. We've got a drop down menu to choose the font, choose the style, so whether we want it in bold or italic. We can also change the font size here by, you can either press the drop down menu, you can type in something, so for example 30, or you can use this to zoom it up and down by clicking on the icon and dragging. And here you can change how the font smoothing works. Uh, this is more of an advanced option and most of the time you won't really need to play around with this. So just leave it on smooth for now. So here you've got the alignment, whether you want it on the left, center or right, the color. In here you can do some different warping effects. And here's the button, which also is another way to open the character window here. So what we're going to do is if we've got all these settings just how we want them, we can click anywhere and that'll create a text box. So then we can just type whatever we want to. So I can say this is a sample of text. And then I might create a new line as part of the tutorial. Um, text in Photoshop is fun. Okay, and so then we can drag it around and position it. And you can see that right now it's all jumbled together. And that's because I played with some of the settings in the character panel. Uh, so just let me get this back and now I'll just explain what that was and what all of these functions here are. So here are your more simple options that you use all of the time. And then in character you can control some other options which are a tad more advanced but they can still really help out your designs. So this is the character tab, you've still got the font size here. So as you can see if you click and drag you can change the size and just change it until you think it looks good. Here you can change the line spacing here, so I can make more space between the lines or less space between the lines. That's why before it was down like this because I hadn't reset it. So you can go like that. You can also put in a value here or press the drop down menu like in everything. Here you can choose the spacing, uh, but this is actually a bit more of an advanced option and you can't use it with all sorts of text. Um, Here's actually the tracking or the space between each single letter. So if we make it bigger, you can see that each character gets further apart. If we make it nice and close, it, it sort of looks a bit modern and everything comes a bit closer together. So we could even leave it like this on minus 20. And then here you can change, you can actually stretch it vertically. So if we bring this up, we can start to see the text stretching. Or you can shrink it vertically vertically if you go minus. So we'll just put this back onto 100%. So you can just type that in. And you can do the same thing for width. You can stretch it. And so the difference between this and the character spacing is that this makes everything longer, whereas the character spacing leaves the uh, letters the same size, except it just increases the space between the letters. And so then here we've got the color, so we can set a color. Maybe if we wanted to change this to a nice blue, we could do that. I'm just going to press cancel. I think we'll just leave it in black for now. And then here you can change a variety of different options about the style. Uh, you can use a fake, a faux bold. So if you have a font that maybe you've downloaded online and it hasn't got a bold version, then you can use this. And this will just let Photoshop generate a fake version for you if there isn't one available. Here you can also do italic. And so there's heaps of different, slightly more advanced options here. You can even do underlining. 
And so that's most of the things about text. Uh, that's most of the stuff you need to know. I'm just going to go into a few other things quickly while we're still uh, in here. So then you can just press tick. Hey, on, just let me show you that again. Uh, once you've selected all your options, if you want to go back, you can press the cross. Or if you want to apply them, you can press tick. And just quickly, if I show you this text warp option that I said I would go over before, uh, here's how you can create a sort of 3D effect to your text. So you can do something like that. And all you need to do is fit fiddle around with these, you can change how much it is, you can add different distortions and things. So there's all sorts of cool things you can do with the warp text function. So then I'm just going to come back into here and press tick which will apply what I did. So if I just drag this up using the move tool, and I'm going to come back to here and show you the vertical type tool. So this function is pretty much the same as the normal type tool, if I just hide this, except obviously it's vertical. So if you just write hello. Uh, whoopsie daisies, then that's just going to type it normally except it will be vertical. So here we can just drag it around, all the settings are the same, you can still change the size, the color, all these things, you can still press tick to apply, except everything's vertical. So that's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, and you can use that as well in your designs and it can really help. So if we just bring this back and delete this, now what the text mask is, is essentially a mask is like hiding part of a layer and showing the rest. So if we come into here, the horizontal mask tool lets you show only parts of it. So for example, if you had a photo of a flower and you wanted the text to look like it was a flower, then you could do this. So just as a bit of an example, uh, if I just come back into the move tool, I'll just quickly try to set something up. If I just add a um, gradient to this, Maybe if I go for a, I don't know, orange gradient, then what we can do is if we want, we can come into the horizontal mask tool, get something to type and type hello. And then if we press tick, you can see that now that's actually made a selection out of it. And so then if we go select inverse, which will select all the other stuff and then delete, then you can see that what, sorry, then you can see that what we've actually done is just created a new layer, just let me add a um, white background to this other layer just so that you can see it a bit easier. But what we've actually done is created a mask of the other layer. So here we've just got a nice effect with the text that says hello on it. And so that's pretty much all you need to know about using text in Photoshop. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learnt a lot and I'll see you later.